Let's walk through the process of signing a PDF. There are a couple of different ways to go about this. We're assuming at this point that you've worked through the prior videos and you've set up your own self-signed digital ID and you've set up your digital signature appearance. If you haven't already done that and you'd like to follow along here, please go back to the earlier videos and walk through those steps before starting this next sequence. We're looking at the file sales.pdf, which is located in the working files in the Chapter 2 folder. We want to add a digital signature to verify that this document was created by us and that it hasn't been modified between the time it was signed and the time our reader is viewing it. We'll click in the Sign panel. And here we'll expand the Work with Certificates section, and we'll click on Sign with Certificate. We'll get an informational dialog box asking us to click and drag a rectangle to designate the area where we want the signature to appear. We'll click Drag New Signature Rectangle, and the cursor changes to a crosshair. We're now able to drag out a rectangular area here at the bottom of the page, and when we release the mouse button, we get this notification bar at the top indicating that we're in Signature Preview mode. We can now click Sign Document. And at this point, we get the choice of which digital ID and which signature appearance we want to use. We'll be able to choose from any digital ID that we have on our system, and we'll choose the one that we created earlier, this identification. Now this ID requires a password, so we'll need to enter it here at the top in order to use it. Remember that if we have multiple IDs, we'll need to be sure that we're entering the password that's associated with that ID. Then for appearance, we can choose any of the appearances that are available. We can use standard text only, or we can even create a new appearance here on the fly. We could choose our My Initials appearance, which as you recall from a previous video, is a minimal appearance with just our initials and the Acrobat logo, and no text at all. Or we can choose My Signature, which includes a more elaborate signature and some supporting text. We'll go ahead and choose My Signature, and we're almost ready. We click on Sign, and now it's asking us to save a copy of the document. The reason it does this is to preserve the original and to create a new signed copy. We'll save this on the desktop, and we'll call it SalesSigned.pdf and we'll click on Save. Now we see the signature added at the bottom of the page using our appearance. We have the signature bar here at the top indicating the document is signed and the signatures are valid. We can click the button here to open the signatures panel or we can click down here to open it ourselves and we can see all the signature details. This document has a signature that's valid it has not been modified since the signature was added. And here's the signing information. We can even click on Certificate Details to get the full disclosure of the certificate used to sign the document. So this is one way you can sign a document, simply by clicking Sign Document and dragging out an area to add a signature. Now some documents come with a signature field already set up for you to add a signature. If we open the file application.pdf, which is located in the working files in the Chapter 2 folder, we see here an application for employment. Now this is set up as a form that can be filled out within Acrobat or Reader and then saved. We've seen forms in an earlier video, but if we scroll to the end of this document, we see a special type of form field with a red signature flag. If we hover over the field, we see the tooltip Unsigned Signature Field, click to sign. Now this is a special signature field, and as soon as we click this, we may get a warning, and we can continue through that warning without any issue. At this point now, we have the Signature Preview bar showing at the top, and we can click here to sign the document, just as before when we had manually clicked and dragged the rectangle. We can choose our ID, and we can add the password. Then we can choose the signature appearance just as we did a moment ago. We'll click on Sign, and again it asks us to save this file as a copy. We'll go to the desktop, and we'll call this Application Signed, and we'll click on Save. And now our signature has been added to this document. 
Just as a word of advice, adding your signature is the last thing you want to do to a document once you've finished editing it, and in the case of a form, once you've finished filling in the fields. Once you sign the document, you're asserting that the data in the document at the time you signed is intact and approved by you, and any further changes would invalidate the signature. Here, this document is signed, and the signature is valid, and it's ready to send on its way.